Welcome to a two-part video called Expansion Slot Types. And in this two-part video, I want to go over the expansion slots that you need to be able to recognize and you need to understand the basic differences between them. In a video entitled Expansion Slots, I talked about how these were included on the first IBM PC. They're still with us today. And these are actual little slots, plugs, if you will, that are attached to the motherboard that allow us to snap cards into them to provide various different functionalities. We use them for network interface cards, for various graphics functionalities, for RAID systems to connect external storage to our machines, all sorts of things. So we can do a lot with these things, and the connections on these slots to the CPU are called the expansion buses. Now, there's a number of different types of slots that have appeared through the years on our motherboards as these things have evolved, and we've found more and more uses for expansion cards to fit into these slots, and our expansion cards needed to run faster and faster and faster. They needed more and more attention to the CPU. In some cases, like displays, we needed to offload a lot of the work off of the CPU, and so we put little CPUs on the expansion cards and so forth. But then that created a problem because we had to communicate across the bus back to the CPU. And so there's been kind of this coinciding development of motherboard architecture and functionality along with expansion slots. So there are six expansion slot types that you need to be familiar with. PCI, PCI-X, PCI-E, Mini PCI, CNR, and AGP. And AGP comes in 2X, 4X, and 8X and others, and we'll talk about that in just a moment here. Now this is a general picture showing the relationship of these. Now most PCI slots, regardless of the different flavor or type of PCI, tend to be white, and you'll see these all over the place on motherboards, these white or light gray looking slots. There's some variation of PCI. Now AGP slots, and this is graphic slots, generally are brown. You can't always go by this. You'll see blue and red and all sorts of colors, but don't so much go by the color. But you can also look at the patterns on them as well. Let's start with PCI, Peripheral Component Interconnect. Now, PCI was originally a 32-bit, which meant that uh, 32 bits of data could be passed at one time across the motherboard and through the particular expansion slot. And it's now 64 bits, so that data width has doubled. The PCI expansion slot had direct access to many components. And so when motherboards started showing up with PCI slots, that particular expansion slot had direct access to the components it needed on the motherboard, which made it faster and more efficient. Originally, it operated at 33 megahertz. Keep in mind, a megahertz is millions of processes per second. And notice this is then later came up to 133 megahertz and then even faster. PCI again usually are the white slots that you see out there on the motherboard. Now PCI-X is PCI extended. Now make a note of this. Burn this into your brain somehow. PCI-X is PCI extended, not express because there is a PCI Express. We'll talk about it in part two. But PCI-X is PCI Extended. What was cool about PCI-X was they improved it, but they made it backward compatible with standard PCI. So if you had an old computer with standard PCI on it, and you had cards that fit into it and gave you the functionality you need and they worked, you could then have a computer with PCI-X slots, and your old PCI cards would fit right into there, and they would work just fine. But notice. PCI Extended gave us speeds up to 533 million processes per second, and that's much, much better. Now, these are very popular in servers because of the speed they provide. And once again, let me show you this little picture so that you can see what we're talking about, okay? Now, notice PCI Extended or PCI-X, you can see the relative size of these, but we're going to talk about PCI Express in part two of the video here, but we'll talk about how these start off small, but then they will get larger and larger, okay? But for now, just know PCI and PCI Extended, PCI-X is PCI Extended. I think I've mentioned that a couple hundred times now. You're probably tired of hearing it. Those expansion slot types were some of the early ones, 
And you'll still see all of these today. Probably won't see a whole lot of standard PCI, but you will see these out there all over the place. And you just need to be able to recognize them based on their functionalities and generally what they look like on the motherboard for the exam.